show you guys, I had already started, but I wanted to show you a very quick and easy way to make some breakfast donuts. And what I did was got a pack of Grand Biscuits. This one has some cereal on it. <laughs> um, but I just got some biscuits and I separated them. Let me pull this one out. Oh, no, that one can still go a little bit longer. Um, pulled this out and then I made a hole in the middle and kind of just stretched it a little bit. And then I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna dab it on here. I'm gonna take this one and put it in. And then I'm going to take the donut and put it in cinnamon and sugar. And if it's fall, you can put some pumpkin spice seasoning in here and it would be absolutely delicious. So there you go. There you have it. You have some cinnamon and sugar donuts, donut holes for the littler ones, and regular donuts for the bigger ones. You can also dip this in like a glaze. That would be really, really good. Um, or any other thing that you would like. But there you go. Super simple, easy, and delicious. How's everybody doing? I am doing okay today. Um, we got a lot to do. I'm headed to Target right now because I am going to go buy a new mop bucket. Um, I need to get some burn cream. Um, I will show you the reason for that. Um, what else? We have uh, some stuff we need to put together for my bedroom. I'm redoing my bedroom. Um, a friend of mine gave me a bed frame so she's moving out of state so I figured I might as well make a video regarding that and we got a little bit of cooking going on we got just some stuff going on for you guys today so you are in for a treat all right guys we'll see you in a little bit I just got back from doing a little bit of shopping um, I needed to go I went to Burlington to go and look for a container to put um, dog food in found a couple other little things went to Target because I needed a new bucket a new bucket a new bucket um, so to start with we have been on a journey to potty train the baby and it has not really been working so I figured maybe she'll have like a stepladder type seat and she might enjoy that going potty by herself so I got that I needed a new mop bucket so I'm gonna try this new one that they have out and it's supposed to like separate clean water from dirty water um, so I will let you guys know what I think about this um, new sprays for like the sofa and my bed this one is lemon and mint from ever spring and it smells super good and then this is my favorite it's the Myers um, clean dry the peony scent I love it I absolutely love it the Keurig cleaning system some of the scrub mommies the dye free scrub mommies I didn't want them to have any of the dye in it so just a little bit better more natural I did get one of the dish daddies that has the like scrubby pad on it and I got some of the extra dish daddy sponges and these ones are scoring pads. So, got those. Bella has been on a kick lately doing her puzzles. So, 
I actually ordered this roll up mat off of Amazon for the puzzle so she could just roll it up and the pieces are not going everywhere. I got some Mederma PM Intensive Overnight Scar Cream and I'm going to insert some pictures right here. This is the reason that I got the cream. Uh, Bella fell and completely scraped up her body and we're going to try and see if this stuff works because I just don't want her completely scarred up. Uh, she's going to be scarred, but I don't want it to be super horrible for the rest of her life. I found these Favorite Day S'mores Mini Waffle Cones. Absolutely delicious if you're just looking for like a pop of something that's sweet. Super good. Now, I found this for my sink and it's the barkeeper's friend soft cleaner i figured i can use this on my sink because i like to clean out my sinks every time i you know do it and this is for the stove that's the powder i got a new um two-in-one sink strainer and stopper and it pops in and out so that way um you can clean it really easy I got a new ice cream scooper. This one says that it defrosts the ice cream whenever you go to scoop it. I thought that was super clever because you know you're like ah, trying to scoop out the ice cream and it doesn't really work all the time. And then I got this bucket. It is a 30 pound pet food bucket with um, a scooper. And I thought that was really nice because uh, if I can get it out, um the uh, let's see there we go it holds the spatula on the outside and it has some really cute pattern on it like some dogs and stuff super super cute all right so that is what i got from oh i did get some napkins needed napkins i told you guys the baby needed new clothes i seen these so cute with a little lace on the bottom and these are just like a little ruffle pair it's more of a neutral like neutral color and I found a purple rain t-shirt for her so cute and a Bob Marley one super cute with some pigtails she'll be styling so I think I showed you the hose for my gardening. And that is all the stuff that I got. Now to start dinner, let's see what we're gonna make. All right guys, let's go. So for dinner, I didn't really know what I wanted to make. I knew I wanted soup, but I didn't really know what kind of soup. So what I'm doing here is I am cutting up my celery. And as you can see, I'm pulling out the stem leaves. Guys, don't hesitate on using those stem leaves because they have and hold so much flavor. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut up some bell peppers. So I did a green bell pepper, um, an orange bell pepper, and a red bell pepper. And I wanted to make sure to get these completely, completely chopped up small so that way when I you know, cook them in the soup, they were not only bite-sized, but they would um be small enough to not be super super crunchy but they would um hold its shape but be soft enough to be able to chew and then i wanted to add some onions so i went ahead and i cut up an onion and i really didn't know what i was doing here guys i kind of just went with the flow i said okay what do i have in my fridge that i can use i'm really craving soup so i added some turkey sausage to my pan and um i'm gonna get this completely if you have never opened it like that guys it's a super fast way to open it but i added a little about a tablespoon of olive oil in there and i'm just going to get this all mashed up so i can get this all cooked in there um those mashers are incredible Incredible. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you spend the extra couple dollars and just get it. 
I wanted to add, add a couple, God, I can't even talk today, guys. I wanted to add a couple pads of butter just to give it some flavor. I love flavor, and I believe butter gives it that extra oomph, if you will. <laughs> So I went ahead and I smashed up my sausage. Again, I had no idea what I was making, guys. I kind of am just going with the flow at this point. Um, I do always add onion powder and onion flakes and garlic powder into my food. They are just my three preferences. I love it. Um, what I didn't show you guys here is I did add a dash of Worcestershire sauce. I don't, everybody knows that no one knows how to say that word. <laughs> um, and once I had it completely mashed up, I just went ahead, scraped down the sides with my skills, my, okay, my silicone spatula, um, because it is my cast iron. I didn't want to scratch all the enamel up. And then I added my veggies. I did add a lot of veggies because I try and incorporate veggies in my kids' diet as much as I can. And if they're hidden, that's another reason I dice them up so small because if they're hidden, they're more likely to eat them, just like in your meatloaf, which I am dying to make some meatloaf. That's probably what I'll make tonight. But I wanted to get this all sauteed in, so I went ahead and I sauteed all of this together for just a couple minutes just to get them married, like all the flavors to marry together. Um, oh my God, it smelled divine in here. Then I added uh, a little bit more onion powder and garlic powder. Guys, I'm telling you, t uh, taste it with your heart. If you feel like it needs more flavoring, then taste it. If you don't, then leave it out. But I am a flavor, flavor person, and I always wanna make sure that I add as much flavor in here as I possibly can. And who wants bland food? And you know, my honey, he's a black man and he always says, you know, what they say, and this is just what he tells me, is sometimes white people don't be putting a lot of flavor in their food, but I do. <laughs> as you can see here, I'm adding like about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of chicken bouillon. Uh, I could have added beef bouillon, and that's probably what I will add next time, but I just didn't have it at the time. So then I'm gonna come in, and this is, um, I think I added about maybe eight cups of water. Um, I want, this is a big cast iron. Like I said, you guys know I have teenagers and I have people in my family that love to eat. So I added a lot of soup. Um, and then Honey wanted some for work, so. Um, I added some tomato paste, just one of those small petite cans, the little tiny cans, and then you're gonna get that mixed in super, super well because it does tend to chunk up, and so just make sure you get it in there. Now, you can add whatever kind of pasta you want in this. I just love the fact that I had the cheese tortellini, and I'm telling you, this made the soup. You can get one with spinach and mushroom. You can get one with all cheese like I had. You can get one with seafood in it. You can get, like, and I think I would have done the one with, like, the crab meat, but again, my honey is allergic to, you know, the shellfish so we couldn't do that but next time maybe i'll make myself like a little side pot of it and then you're just gonna let it simmer until the pasta is done and on top of ours i did add some my kids make fun of the way i say it so parmesan cheese <laughs> everybody makes fun of the way i say parmesan <laughs> Listen, it's Parmesan cheese, okay? You can add a little dollop of sour cream on top of this. Anyway, it would be excellent. So, yeah. As you guys can see, we had a spill. We actually had, during Easter time, some of the fish that my honey made spilled over in the bottom of the oven. So, I definitely need to get all of this cleaned up. It looks absolutely disgusting, and it's just smells up the entire house every single time that we cook and it's just not it's not pretty anymore so i'm gonna get this all cleaned up and we will see how it goes i'm gonna spray this stuff that i just got let me take the racks out
put these outside one minute so they can be scrubbed. Okay, so I'm going to try the scrub free oven cleaner heavy heavy duty um it says it cuts through baked on grease and food spills so shake well let it sit for two hours um i went in and i took lukewarm water and of course you know my ajax and comment and i sprinkled that all over and i gave it a quick scrub down to just to get the excess stuff off of it of what i could and i wanted to see about getting everything you know off like big chunks and stuff like that that were more hard um i did end up changing my clothes just because i didn't want to get it on my jumpsuit and so i put some old clothes on but i got cold so i was like okay i'm gonna put you know <laughs> a jacket over it and um for some reason our weather is like completely crazy right now some days it's hot some days it's cold it's it's all over the place but i went ahead and i soaked that all up and then i repeated the process uh izzy did go outside um and she took the racks out there uh, so just so she can scrub it so we ended up finding some of that pink stuff and a lot of people said that it was really good for the racks so we did end up trying it it took off most of it for like the most part but it was really really hard and to be honest i would have rather just used like ajax or something because you know i it's just my favorite it's my preference and i just absolutely love the way it is and but i didn't really want to get the chemicals all over her you know she is younger this was actually the day before she decided to go and hurt herself <laughs> the baby wanted to help so much so she was like bringing her water and stuff <laughs> um but she sat out there for quite some time she was so over it she's like okay mom i wanted to help but i'm so done can i stop i'm like oh no girl you got one more sister you need to get it all day <laughs> <laughs> and she's like ah it's driving me crazy because it is very tedious and repetitive and it's very hard to get inside of the you know nooks and crannies um the baby wanted her to play in the sandbox with her and she's like no i can't right now so the baby was getting mad i don't want anybody to come for me when we don't have shoes on because we are country girls we you know i'm from florida my kids are raised in the country so don't come for me but this is the after i was super super happy with it if you've seen the before and the after then you know it is brand new now after i finished it it took a long time you guys are seeing a portion of it but this took me so long i do still need to take the door off because I need to use a screwdriver because you can't really get into the um, the inside of it. You have to get inside and use a um, screwdriver to open up and spray the inside of the glass. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I can't wait for you guys to come and see the next one.